In this video, we're gonna learn about pivot tables in five minutes. So obviously we're not gonna learn everything about pivot tables in five minutes, but we're gonna cover the basics. So let's get started. So what is a pivot table? It's a tool in Excel that allows us to quickly and easily summarize our data using a drag and drop interface. Now we've got a set of data here for employee salaries, and it's not a particularly large set. It's about 25,000 rows of data. And we can see that it's got uh, employee ID and job title and their department and whether they're full or part-time and then their annual salary. Now if we want to take this data and use it to answer certain questions like what is the total police department spend on annual salaries or what's the average fire department salary then we're going to need to summarize our data and we can do that with a pivot table. So to create a pivot table based on a set of data all you need to do is select a cell in your data and go up to the insert tab in your ribbon and click on the pivot table command there and that's going to open up this create pivot table dialog box here now it's going to ask you a couple questions so it's going to ask you to choose the data set you want to analyze and excel's already gone ahead and guessed what that data set is if you need to correct that you can click on this button here and manually select your data set Otherwise, you can take its suggested uh, data range. And the next question is, where do you want your pivot table to be placed? So you can choose a location in an existing worksheet. And if you click this place right here, it's going to allow you to select your location. Or you can have Excel create a new worksheet for you with the pivot table in it. So we're going to do that and press OK. And now that's going to create a new pivot table. So here we've got our pivot table and you can see it's blank. There's nothing in it. And if we take our active cell cursor outside of that blank pivot table, you can see that the window that we had on the right hand side there disappears. If we go back in there, we should see our pivot table fields window. And that's kind of the command center for creating and editing your pivot tables. If you don't happen to see that window pop up when you put your active cell cursor in your blank pivot table, then you can just right click anywhere in your pivot table and either hide or show the field list. So if I click on hide the field list, it's going to hide the field list and I can right click again and show the field list. Now let's take a closer look at the pivot table fields window so we can resize it here if we, if we need to. And notice up here we've got a list of all the fields in our data. So we've got employee ID, job title, department, full or part time and annual salary. And then down here, we've got four different areas. So we have a filters area, a columns area, a rows area, and a values area. Now, these are the areas where we can place our different fields. And depending on where you place them, we're going to summarize our data differently. So the values area is usually going to be for our numeric fields. So in our case, annual salary, we might want to place here. And we can do that by going up to our field in our field list and clicking on it and dragging it down to the values area and then releasing it there. Now we can see that we have a field here and it says sum of annual salary and if we go to our pivot table what's actually happened is we've summarized our data by summing it up. So we have summed up all the values in our annual salary column there and we can see that it's about 2.1 billion. Now let's take a look at some of the other areas. So if we maybe take department and add it into one of these other areas. So if we add it into the rows area, what ends up happening is now we're summarizing our data by all the different departments. So each department, we have the sum of all the annual salaries within that department. And those are listed down the rows there for each department. If we take that department and move it over to the columns area, we get a similar view, but this time our departments go across the different columns. And then the last area here is the filters area. And this is a special area where you can filter on different items in your data. So here we can select different uh, departments. And if I select maybe those first four, now I'm just summarizing or summing just those departments annual salary. So I'm just gonna go and remove those filters and just select everything again. Now maybe you don't want to summarize your data by summing it up. You can also summarize it in other ways by taking averages, mins, maxes, or finding standard deviations or variances 
that's pretty easy to do as well. So let's just move our department field back into the rows area. And we can right click on our annual salary to summarize it differently and go to the value field settings. And that's gonna open up this value field settings window. And here we're selecting sum, but we can also select count, average, max, min, or various other different uh, summarization types. So let's try out average and press OK. And now instead of summing up our data, we get an average for each of the departments. Now removing fields from a pivot table is also pretty easy. We just have to click, left click on them and drag them out of our pivot table fields window and that'll remove them from our pivot table. So that's the very, very basics of pivot tables. Pivot tables can do a whole lot more than that, but this was just a five minute intro to learn the very basics of pivot tables. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.